My name is Juan Carlos Otero and I'm speaking from the University of Malaga, Spain. I'd like to thank the organizers for giving me the opportunity to talk about the uh, electron transfer processes between molecules and metal cluster or electrons. The talk is uh, mainly focused on the complex effect of the electropotential in the overall electronic structure of metal molecule hybrids. The, the energy requirements for electron transfer is summarized in this very popular scheme showing the relative energy of the continuous level of the metal with respect to the energies of the homo and lumo orbitals of the molecule, of the asorbate. For instance, in the forward metal to molecule charge transfer, an electron of the Fermi level of the metal is transferred to the backhand lumo orbital of, of the molecule. If the electropotential is shifted minus 1 volts, the Fermi level rises uh, plus uh, 1 electron volts, and the energy of the charge transfer metal to molecule charge transfer process is reduced the same quantity minus one electron volt. In the reverse process, an electron of the homo of the molecule is transferred to the Fermi level of the metal, and the energy of the molecule to metal charge transfer increases one electron volts when the electropotential is shifted minus one volt. In these cases, electron transfer requires photon excitation, for instance. This sample scheme is very used in electrochemistry or molecular electronics and implies a direct conversion of the applied electropotential in the energy of the electron transfer process. There is no energy gain because uh, both quantities are equivalent. But this scheme is a very rough approach to the chemical structure, the softer electronic structure or charged interfaces. Surface enhanced Raman scattering is a very powerful technique to get insight into the overall electronic structure of these metal molecule interfaces. The main characteristic of cells is the enormous enhancement of the Raman signal of molecule bonded to silver or gold nanoclusters. This enhancement is an anoplasmonic effect, mainly located in the uh, gaps between two closer nanoparticles. In Omar Roman, the ground electronic state of the molecule and a virtual state are involved, but in some cases, Raman becomes resonant and the intensity is further enhanced. Resonant Raman occurs when the energy of the laser, the laser excitation, matches the energy of a stationary state of the system. The resonant states can be located in the molecule for instance, the first uh, excited singlet, in non and a specific state of the, of the metal, the metal have a lot of electronic transitions, or in new metal molecule charge transfer states. The energy of the CT states are controlled, are very dependent on the, on the electropotency. Therefore, uh, to discussing resonant Raman process, the energy of the laser excitation must be compared with the energy of this excited state. And so it is necessary to know the entire electronic building of the metamolecule hybrid and the effect of applied potentials in the ground and excited electronic states. A lot of papers dealing with cells or molecular electronics have been published reporting theoretical calculation where the system has been modeled by means of a single or many molecules bonded to large or very large metal clusters. These more or less realistic systems have no manageable and it is very difficult to include the effect of the potential in the calculations. The applied potential modifies the surface excess of charge of the electron and we have simulated the change of the density of charge of the surface through a single molecule like pyridine bonded, bonded to uh, the terminal atoms of linear silver clusters 
with different density of charge. This effective charge is defined by dividing the zero, minus, or plus one electron, the charge of the overall cluster, by the length, the number of uh, silver uh, atoms. In this series of complexes, the density of charge ranges between minus 2 plus 0.33 electrons. And now we cal calculated the effect of the potentials on the electronic structures of the surface complexes. These figures show the calculated dependence of the first excited singlet of pyridine, the S1 state, and several series of forward metal to molecule charge transfer states on the density of charge of the, of, of the clusters. DFT or multi configurational calculations give the same linear dependence of the energy of the S1 and CD states on uh, Q effective. The CT resonant conditions is fulfilled when the energy of the uh, used laser, the green line for instance, crosses the line of a particular CT state. In this case, the relative search intensities will reflect the features of this resonant process. Several experiments using different techniques point to a huge effectiveness of the electropotential in turning the energies of the CT process. This energy gain, these uh, experimental values, are very depending on the particular molecule and the experimental conditions, but, but large values are obtained in many cases. For instance, the group of Tian have studied the search of protonated adenine recorded on rhodium and palladium electrodes with three different excitation laser lines and have found very large energy gains. This means that one applied volts shifts from three to four electron volts the energy of the city states. In order to understand the origin of the gain, we have calculated the dependence of the city states or rhodium complexes bonded to different position, nitrogen position of the molecule. All of these complexes bonded to nitrogen 1, 3 or 4 show a similar behavior with a large dependence on the density of charge. However, the complex bonded through the amino group this uh, red line is much less sensitive. The slope S quantifies the sensitivity of the particular city state on the charge transfer of the metal, and the Y intercept quantifies in turn the stability of the molecular anion formed in the transient excited state. The transfer electron is much more stable in the case of protonated adenine and the case bonded to the, the uh, hydrogenium is an intermediate case. We have selected the case of adenine hydrogenium for correlating or calculated results to the experimental cells excitation profiles reported by Tian. In this figure, the crossing point between the energy of the three laser used and the energy of the CT state is correlated to the maxima of the uh, corresponding uh, maxima of the SARS excitation profiles. This procedure allows to correlate the applied electropotential to the effective charge, the density of charge of the metal clusters. This, this correlation is, is, is made through the slope C. C is an electri electrical capacitance of the metal which quantifies the uh, capability of the metal in converting the applied electropotential in surface charge. Therefore, the electric potential cannot be directly correlated to the energy of the CD process, because the energy gains is the product of the slopes S and C. 
the metal capacitance is mainly dependent on the nature and the local morphology of the metal. And the slope S is very sensitive to the nature of the molecule, the nature of the metal, the geometry of absorption, the selected city state, and many other experimental conditions. A surprising result is obtained in the case of ionic adsorbates. Theoretical calculations of the structure of isonicotinate and ion bonded to linear silver cluster predict the existence of two different surface complexes. The bottom lines in this figure show the effect of the density of charge of the silver in the stability of the metal molecule complex in the ground electronic state. At positive density of charge, the complex is very stable due to the strong attractive interaction between the negative charge of the molecule and the positive charge of the metal. The bond energy, the bond energy of this chemisorbate complex is not dependent on the applied potential. Conversely, repulsion dominates at negative potentials. This physisorbate complex is much less stable and the energy is very sensitive to the applied potential. Therefore, there are two different complexes of different nature. Concerning the CT states, at negative potentials, the system has forward metal to molecule CT states, which are very depending on the negative metal charge. These forward CT states show large slopes, as in the previous case of neutral pyridine or adenine. However, reverse uh, molecule to metal electron transfer uh, dominates at positive potentials. In this last case, the complex is so strong that the electron potential is unable to tune the energy of these states. Therefore, the discussed energy gain is not universal, given that the same system can show different directions of transfer, forward and reverse, and large or even zero energy gain values depending on the range of considered potentials. Obviously, this dual and opposite behavior of the metal molecule complexes is more evident in charged molecules, but can go unnoticed in neutral absorbates. In order to confirm the existence of physis sorbet and chemisorbet complexes, we have revisited the paper by Wilman and Otto about the effect of the electro potential on the size wave numbers of the CN stretching vibration of cyanide solutions using sulfate as electrolyte. The figure shows the search frequencies of CN recorded at different electro potentials and three different regions can be seen. The frequencies remains almost constant in region A, but shows a significant dependence at the electropotential more negative than the potential of zero charge of the silver electron in region B. But a sudden jump is observed in the frequencies more positive than minus 0.2 volts. This region C has been assigned to bidentate cyanide complexes bonding to both the metal uh, surface and to silver cations, given that it disappears when the electrolyte contains chloride instead of sulfate. These silver cations are produced at positive electro potentials. The two regions A and B correspond to perpendicular cyanide bonded to the electrode through the carbon atom on a top coordination. We have calculated the CN with numbers of the series of top C complexes and a very good correlation with the experimental results is found. A flat dependence is predicted at positive charge in good agreement with the size wave number re recorded in region A. But the calculated frequencies show a sharp dependence on Q effective and negative values, given that it corresponds to the very polarizable physisorbate complex of region B. 
summarizing, metal molecule interfaces are complex systems where the electropotential plays a key and non-trivial role. A single molecule can show a complex behavior depending on the sign of the charge of the electron. The applied potential is able to modulate the properties of these hybrid systems and can select two different electronic structures with control or the properties in the ground and excited city states. This conclusion offers new and expected possibilities of metal molecule interfaces which can be useful to better understand many basic processes in electrochemistry, heterogeneous absorption or catalysis, or for improving the devices used in energy conversion or in molecular electronics. Thank you very much for your kind attention.